What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Empire Build Blocks Let's Get Building video. This is all about a New England salt box. And this is a style of home that's typical in the New England area. So Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut. And what you're seeing right here is a building that I built a little bit earlier. And that one is kind of a representation of what the house that I grew up in looked like way back when it was built. So starting out, we're going to start with a series of five by five grids. And I'm doing this with bricks and I'm doing this with um, the polished granite or polished, the, the red one, you know, polished granite. Ha ha. So now we've got the layout of our grid and it's not a perfect square. This is obviously going to be a rectangle. Um, so now we want to go ahead and add our chimney and the chimney is not in the center of the building. The chimney is kind of, uh, it's favoring the front of the building. It's not going to be in the middle. It's going to be favoring the front. So let's go ahead and just zip that right along. Now we want to add that one single baseboard to the bottom of the house. It's right above the foundation. We're using bone block for this. Again, I love me some bone block. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's good stuff. It's got a good texture to it. it kind of has a rounded uh, color to it on the ends. Um, it's not so uniform and that's, that's what I like about it. Add some differentiation. We're just gonna build up a couple sides and then I'm gonna take some smooth sandstone stairs and this is going to be a representation of clapboard. And you'll see how this plays out. This is actually kind of neat. I played around with a couple different options and this is the best looking way that I've found so far. Definitely the best looking way I've found so far. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm starting to make some holes for windows and this isn't just gonna be glass. You know, these aren't just gla big glass square windows. These are going to have uh, shutters. It's, it's going to look sweet. You're going to love it. Trust me. You're going to love it. Add in a door. Add in some more space. And this is just three by three. There we go. Cool. Looks kind of silly right off at the beginning. But at the end of the video, you'll see it all comes together. Just like everything that I built. It all tends to work out. Just gonna add some more uh, side panels, some more frames. Okay. Now what I wanna do is I wanna shingle the sides. The salt box home is kind of typical to New England, but it's really, really commonly found on Cape Cod. That's the cool thing about it. And a lot of these buildings had clapboard on the front, shingles on the sides. So we're gonna try to represent shingles here. And the way I'm gonna do that is using the SIE wood with the bark still on it. And I wanna go ahead and just kinda of like change up the texture a little bit. I don't wanna make it too, too uniform cause then it's gonna look kinda of weird. All right. Cause again, this is a building that was kinda of built around the 1700s. 1700s to 1800s was typical. And then around the 1950s, Sears catalog came out with like a, oh, we'll build you this house sort of thing. And all of a sudden everybody was like totally into it. Cause it was something that they could just buy from a catalog. Anywho, fun things. So, we've got our shingled sides. We've got a clapboard front. How nice is that? All right, so now we need to add just a little bit more texture. I'm breaking this apart because I wanna make it look like there's just different parts of the shingling going on here. Just adding some, some andesite. Oddly enough, andesite has that textured look that I want. Yeah. Just don't want it too uniform. If you know anything about me, I'm all about textures and all sorts of color combinations. Color combinations that work. I'm not saying like add purple or pink in there because that, that would be a little interesting. Maybe in another video. Maybe if I do something Le Corbusier style. If you don't know who Le Corbusier is, you should definitely look him up. Great, great, great architect. Anywho, now I'm adding in some gray 
concrete powder, more andesite, and I'm doing everything that I did on the other side on the opposite wall. And we're gonna do that on every side that isn't clapboard. The front of the house is the only thing that's clapboard. Everything else is shingle. And you know why they did that? Well, it was cheap. It was cheap to do things this way. Okay, now I wanna start working on windows. We're gonna add some shutters in, and I love this color blue. So, bada boom, we make it blue. All right. We're gonna add this color blue to every single wall. It's gonna be awesome. You'll see. puppy go. Just cruising right along. All right. We got to make sure that everything kind of lines up. You always want your windows to line up. That's just good architecture. And I know a thing or two about architecture. All right. So now I'm just adding some smooth quartz to the bottoms of the windows. It's kind of like a windowsill sort of vibe. And it also helps to lay the, um, the windows upon it. We're gonna do this for all sides of the first floor and probably the second and third. All right, nice. For windows, because I want this to kind of have a vintage 1700s feel to it, I'm gonna use these trap doors because they've got that gridded pattern on them. All right, we're gonna do that for all the windows. Just cruise right through. perfect now you could like go ahead and make this a cape style house right here like you don't necessarily have to keep going with it to make it a cape style house you just put a roof on it after the first floor put a roof on it boom cape style home you're an architect good job congratulations but we're going farther than that in this video we're going way farther than that we're we're taking it to another level this one's for those those people who are architecturally minded. St. Joe Mama's Minecraft video. All right, the door is a tricky thing because you wanna make it scale and you wanna make it look appealing. There's a tendency out there to just put a door, walk away from it, and you're done. One of my favorite little tricks, boom, transom. Ah, oh, that looks phenomenal. Another problem that I see often is people put the tops of the, um, doors or if they're going to do a little bit of decoration above the door they do it like that oh that looks terrible that's so out of scale it looks ridiculous no the key is make every single part to scale so above the transom that is where we'll add our little decoration boom nice We'll add more interest to this later on, or more detail to that later on. Things are looking pretty good here. I want to add a first floor. And I definitely don't want it to be right up at the windowsill. So we'll just cruise right through here. I'm using dark oak for the first floor, because the floor should always be darker than the ceiling. The walls should be a little bit darker than the ceiling as well. Now I want to add some timbering as well because this is an older building and the timbering is usually exposed. So we'll go ahead and we'll add some timbering. I'm probably not going to do a detailed interior on this build. Um, I'm going to leave that up for you to kind of come up with as a designer and a builder because I know you're perfectly capable of it. But there we go. We've got some timbering in there. And you can add a staircase wherever you want. Typically with these buildings, you would see a staircase right next to the chimney, usually by the front door. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're just gonna move right along because I wanna show you how I space things out and how I go about making the actual exterior. We'll probably do an interior video later, 
I'd like to do a large scale New England home, one with like a ballroom. I don't know if you've ever heard of Old Deerfield Village. There's a house in Old Deerfield Village that legitimately has a ballroom in it. The building was built in 1817 or something of that nature. And it has a ballroom upstairs. And I'm in love with this house. So it's like, it's one of those things where, you know, we'll, we'll come to that later on, but I'll show you my process for a basic build. And you can outfit it to your specifics later on. And if you've never checked out Deerfield Village, I honestly recommend looking it up. It's pretty sweet. It is pretty gosh darn sweet. All right, we're on to the second floor at this point. And we're getting ready to add some windows, so we're cutting out some holes. And it looks like this is a little too low because the window is going to line up with the floor and I want a little bit of space. And don't worry about that timbering being there. It's gonna get covered up by, you know, any sort of shutter is gonna get covered up anyways. So, all right, cool. Kyo, kyo, kyo. All right. Add in some more acai. I dated a girl who was super into acai bowls and I still don't know what the heck that is. All right. Add in some windows. Again with the shutters. sets a salt box apart from your standard colonial like what you see in the background or like what I grew up in is that the back side of the house is a little bit more slanted and the idea behind this was to provide the house with a little bit more structure it supports a bigger second floor that's the main point of it all right let's keep plugging through here we're going to repeat the same process on the other side of the house I always kind of had a fondness for salt boxes. I think the name is just kind of a cozy sounding name. But I don't know. I like the sound of it. And adding one more level of clapboarding to the top. we get the roof line kind of correct. It's kind of important. Shingling. Okay. And it's just a 45 degree angle from that second story. And then it peaks right in the center of the house. So right above that second window, it should peak. All right, we're getting close. It's always kind of a crapshoot. You never know if it's just gonna perfectly line up. Well, perfect. Oh, as usual, that looks phenomenal. All right, let's fill this puppy in. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I wanna add an attic window as well. The house that I grew up in had a wonderful attic window and I always really enjoyed going up into the attic. Just looking out that window, it's a small little thing that just like looks out onto the street and it's cool. We're gonna add some detail to it as well just to make it kind of go along with the second story or the first story cool and again you know you don't want it to be repetitive you want to avoid repetition at all possible you know keeping it as crazy and different just makes it far more interesting your eye is so good at picking up repetition so avoid repetition especially when adding detail all right so let's add some timbering to the roof 
This is going to set up the lining for everything else. I'm just using some stripped, stripped wood again. And you could keep the second story like completely, you know, opened up to the third, but I usually recommend definitely making that third story an attic space. It's far cooler to be able to go up there in the game and like go check out like things that you have in your attic. I usually keep, you know, ore and stuff in the attic. We're gonna fill that in with shingle. That looks pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. You can see the tugboat build in the background. Ships ahoy, my friend. Anyways, moving on. off the windows there and then we got to add another attic window perfect and we'll add detail good all right we've added some white um, polished marble to the second story as well Again, details. All right, now we need to look into doing the roof and I love using the stone brick stairs for roofs because it comes across looking like slate. This looks good. Just looks really, really good. I'm just gonna do that for the whole roof and I'm also going to add overhang to the roof as well. You never wanna just like square it off completely because then it just looks this looks kind of silly. I had a cat. Looking pretty good. All right. Now you need to add trim to the eaves of each side of the of the roof. using the smooth quartz stairs. There you go. We're gonna do that for each side and I'm also going to add a half slab to the bottom of the roof as well. Nice and simple like that. And we need to make sure that we add our chimney in as well. We don't wanna forget about our chimney. That is an iconic part of these buildings. go do that for the whole deal then we'll add some detail to the chimney as well the house that i grew up in had a chimney that was just flat across the top i think it had a piece of slate like a big thick piece of slate on the top um but i always kind of favored the ones that had a little bit of accent to them this makes it interesting makes it different i'm also going to add some little spots to this that make it look a little bit more weathered but first we need to add our campfire to get the smoking effect there we go nice doesn't that look quaint all right we'll add some brick steps the reason for the brick steps is because i wanted to have that lost brick look like something's been taken out of it Just adds that extra detail. You know, you might not notice it every single time you look at it, but it's it's there. She's hanging out. All right. Some polished, polished granite. Now working on that front porch sort of area. Leading up to the front door. Basically just brick and polished granite. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Pretty neat. Alright. 
And then I'm gonna take this diorite wall because it's always good for making piers, like simple columns, just like that. And then we'll put one on each side of the top of this. And then I wanna add lanterns too. I add lanterns right to the bottoms of these. Good, good, nice. And now it has the look of a real New England home. Pretty nice. Then I'm just gonna add these signs to the bottom as well because again, it adds that extra layer of detail. I don't know why I started doing this for my buildings, but it just, it looks good. I don't know why, but it just looks good. That's, that's pretty good. Now what I want to do too is I want to add some foliage and I want to make a little path going into it. That's just simple stuff. You know, anybody can put this stuff together. You know, it's it's really up to you. If you wanted to do like a brick pathway, brick pathway it up. You want to do like a pavement pathway, pavement pathway it up, dirt pathway, dirt pathway it up. Have at it, have fun with it. Come up with something sweet. If you come up with something really cool, let me know. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. You know, it's a simple build. You know, you can build this building in under an hour. That's the wonderful thing about it. And it looks good. And it looks like a home that you would live in. It looks realistic. It looks prototypical. And that's the great thing about it. And that's what we're all about at Empire Build Blocks is these fun builds that you can construct in about an hour um, if not, maybe a little bit more, like there might be a couple buildings that we do that take, you know, an hour, or maybe three hours to build, but we want them to look good. If you guys like this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you want to follow us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram. We've got all sorts of stuff. Um, and be sure to subscribe. We love subscribers. You know, that's just a wonderful thing. So be sure to follow us for more updates and, uh, we'll see you next time.